after the politics at Talladega last fall, is that probably the reason that NASCAR is not going to do anything about the radios, or do do they need to do something about the radios? No, I, I, I um, I, I'd have to disagree on that one from my standpoint. I think if you're doing a two-car tandem, the having the radios is safer. But I think um, not having the radios also helps not have the two-car tandem and all that. So I, I mean, I. I think that um, I don't think we need to be talking to everybody else. I think you have your own spot or talking to you and you pay attention to what's going on and try to try to see what's going on. I, I think that uh, especially with pack racing, if you're talking to other people, I think it can create a lot of confusion. Uh, I'm sure there's deals made on the radio during yellows or whatever. But, you know, if it comes down to the end, you know, you're going to try to negotiate that anyway through your spot or your crew chief or or, or what have you. So I, I kind of like the idea of not having them. I think that um, racing has always been about you know, one against the rest of the pack, and I think that's the way it way it should be. Not necessarily trying to, uh, you know, do the pot thing or, or team up or whatever. So uh, I kind of like uh, this style because it seems like we all race, and then when it comes down to the end, you know, you're gonna find you know who's around you or who you happen to work good with most of the day, like it used to be, and you'll try to try to work with that guy at the end and, and get the best finish you can.